In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi Model 0 WH. We're going to set it up in such a way that you don't need any peripheral devices. It's going to immediately connect to our Wi-Fi network. And then just using our computer, we can connect to this device using SSH and begin our programming. For comparison, this is the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, so it is a lot smaller smaller and it doesn't have all these extra ports for us to connect peripheral devices like keyboard and mouse and just begin programming. So that's why it's really crucial that when we set this up it auto discovers our wireless network and automatically connects to it. Anyways guys let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is format our micro SD card. So we're going to need an adapter and then we're going to just want to connect it to our computer and we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and connect this to my computer here. I'm just going to pull up a finder window and verify that we can see the new removable drive and we can so that looks good. Okay so the next thing we want to do is download the Raspbian image. So we can get that from the Raspberry Pi website. Okay so you should be able to use any of these images. I'm going to use stretch light because I don't need the desktop software and I think it's going to be faster for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and download that as a zip. Okay I'm going to pull it up in a finder. I'm going to unpack it and it should be a disk image file. Okay, looks good. So in order to get this onto our SD card, we need to use some sort of formatting tool. I use a tool called Etcher, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna pull that up. Okay, and we're just gonna select the image file. And then we're gonna make sure we have the right drive selected. In my case, it's an eight gigabyte micro SD card. So that looks right. Be careful there, you don't wanna format the wrong drive because you'll lose all the data on that drive. And then we're just gonna click flash. Okay, so now we just need to add a config file so that when we power our Raspberry Pi, it will immediately be able to connect to the network and be available on our local network. So in the description of the video, there's gonna be two files that you can download, and those are the files that we're gonna to use to configure the wireless network. So I'm just gonna download those here. One is just SSH, and then one is wpasupplicant.conf. So for, for the SSH file, we can just drag that right into the boot drive, and that's sufficient. And then for the config file, we can also drag that into the boot drive, but we're gonna wanna edit it. So I'm just gonna do open with text editor. And you just need to enter your wireless network name and then the password. Please note that uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero does not support 5G. So if your network is 5G, this just won't work. I'm gonna uh, use the 2.4 gigahertz network that I have, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill out those settings right now. So my network is called Yoda-2.4. So I'll just put that in right here. And then the password, I will enter 
and save that file. Okay, so the configuration settings should be all set up. Now, one thing I did was I pulled up my router admin page. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can see what devices are connected to my network. So the network I usually use is the 5G network, but again, that's not compatible with the Raspberry Pi Zero. So I pulled up the, the 2.4G network and I have a list here of uh, connected clients. So currently there's nothing connected, but once I, can, uh, once I turn on my Raspberry Pi, I expect to see that show up here. So I'm just gonna remove the SD card Okay, so I'm just going to pull out the SD card, place it into my Raspberry Pi, and now I'm just going to power it with a USB connector, and uh, this is not going into my computer, it's just powered, um, it's just a power cable. And uh, note that the power is the far most uh, jack there. This one is for data. Okay. And we can let that boot up. So again, there's no UI for us to be able to see what's going on on, on this chip. So. That's why we want to have it immediately connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so one thing we can do to see if the chip is connected to the network is we could do ping raspberry pi dot local. Okay, so it's actually returning ping messages. So that means that it is connected to Wi-Fi. And I should be able to confirm that by checking my router admin page here. It should be picking up this device, let's see. And there it is. So it has a host name, raspberrypi.local, but it also has an IP address, so you'd be able to connect to it either way. Now, the SSH file that we added is just a blank file, but the mere presence of that file will enable SSH on the device. So if we want to connect to our device, we know we can ping to it, but now we want to actually log into it. So we can just do that by doing SSH pi at raspberrypi.local and we'll just click yes and the, the default password is going to be raspberry and as soon as you log in you can change that password and now you can see we are connected and logged into our Raspberry Pi device. So now we can do any sort of development or any sort of project on this device. Keep in mind that if we at any time unplug our Raspberry Pi, it's obviously gonna become unavailable for remote connection. Anyways, that is how you set up a Raspberry Pi Zero. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thanks.